when we have boolean values we can do some useful things by counting and averaging them let's jump right to an example so we already know we've got this data frame called mpg in ggplot and it has a column called hwy to represent the highway miles now consider an expression like this mpg dollar highway greater than mean mpg dollar highway right this from our prior experience we understand is a boolean expression and since this is a vector we are going to get a vector of trues and false and that's what we get here right so it's true 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 in this particular case all of them happen to be true the initial ones and then there are several other values some of them will be false true etc okay the reason we're getting this is it's going to take the first highway value compare it with the mean if it's greater than the mean you're going to get true otherwise you're going to get false then it takes the second uh, mpg highway value similarly like that okay so this is a vector of booleans now suppose we want to find out how many of these values are greater than the mean how many of the highway values in mpg are greater than the mean right so you have this expression and once you have this expression they're all true or false but the great thing is r treats true as one and false as zero right so all you have to do is to simply add all of these and you get the correct result right so how many highway mileage values are above average we just have to do some mpg dollar highway greater than mean mpg dollar highway so every true will be treated as one every false will be treated as zero and therefore sum is going to tell us how many true values are there in other words how many highway mile values are greater than the mean okay it turns out 129 of them are uh, satisfying that condition okay so true is treated as one and false is treated as zero so similarly we can do uh, this we can i'm showing the same thing as uh, with pipes so mpg pipe it and uh, summarize num above average is sum highway greater than mean highway okay so again because we are using an aggregate function we can directly do the summarization so uh, this time we are using uh, dplyr function to do the summarization okay since we did not do any grouping this summarization is going to work on the complete data set and therefore you're going to get a single number as the result and of course it's coming back as a table one row one column okay so counting is useful in that sense similarly suppose you want to find the proportion of how many of the elements are above average getting the proportion right in order to get the proportion you can do mean of the values see remember true is treated as one false is treated as zero so you want to find out what is the proportion of ones and it turns out that in order to get the proportion of ones all you have to do is to add up the sum uh, and divide it by the total number of elements and which is what mean does right so when you have boolean values you can find proportion by just taking the mean okay so this tells us that 0.551 or 55.1 percent of those values are above the mean and 129 values are actually above the mean okay which represents 55.1 percent okay so that's how uh, counting and uh, summary and uh, averaging of logical values works so here we are taking another example mpg group by class okay in other words this time we are grouping the vehicles by class and the class values are here and we are summarizing n equals n that is this will tell us how many rows are there for each class of vehicle and then we want to find uh, how many are above average within each class okay so we are saying sum highway greater than mean highway and proportion above average mean of highway greater than mean highway okay so this is a proportion above average okay now something seems to be wrong here right so in other words for two seater cars uh, 60% are above average and in fact if you look at uh, SUVs 37% of them have above average mileage something is wrong okay so actually what is going on is when you're doing mean highway and you're doing it inside of the summarize it is calculating the mean within the group it's not calculating the overall mean right because after all we are inside of the summarize uh, function here and within the summarize function when you refer to a high, a, a, an aggregate function like this it's going to apply only to the group and therefore what it's telling us is that 37.1% of 
SUVs are above average when the average is calculated within SUVs alone. Okay, if you want to find out how many of them are above the global average, then you'll have to do it differently, right? So this is again, these are all within group proportions. If you want to do it, uh, okay, again, as I said, when you refer to a column within a group summary, you're only referring to the values within the group. Okay, if you want to do it differently, then you'll have to calculate the mean outside of this function. So I'm, I'm calculating mean highway as mean of MPG dollar highway. And then within the summarized function, I'm going to use that new variable, right? Highway greater than mean highway. So now what is happening is each of these highway values is being compared with the global mean highway, which we calculated right there. Okay, so if you do that, and of course you get the proportion, once again, the proportion will be based on the overall. Okay, then of course the results seem quite different. So only 8% uh, of the SUVs are above average. None of the pickups are, are above average. And 80% of two-seaters and almost 98% of compacts and 97% of mid-sizes are all above average. Okay, so we have to be a little careful when we are uh, when we are trying to do these kinds of things, we have to make sure because within the summarize function, all functions that you may use are all applied only for values within the group, right? So if you want to do comparisons of within group values and outside group values, then you will have to compute the outside of the or overall group values uh, outside here. Okay, so this is what we had earlier. Earlier we said num above average is some highway greater than mean highway and these functions obviously operated only based on the elements within the group. By doing this we are forcing the comparison to occur across the global uh, mean. Okay, so that was the old values that we had and these are the new values. So again we are now taking an example from our flights table. Right, so not cancelled. Uh, this is our, uh, you know, just the data frame of not cancelled flights. We'll be using this in the later uh, coming examples. Okay, so again, coming uh, here, counting of logical values. Here we are using the not cancelled data frame that we just created earlier. We are grouping it by year, month, and day. Right, and then we are talking about how many flights are early flights with the early flight being defined as a departure time of before 5 a.m. Any flight that leaves before 5 a.m. is considered an early flight. So obviously n early is the number of flights which are early for a particular day because we've grouped by year, month, day is simply sum of this condition. Departure time less than 500. This is going to be true or false for every flight. We just want to add up the truths and of course we can do that by just summing it up. Okay, so the next one we are saying uh, our percentage is mean of arrival delay greater than 60, right? That is what percentage of flights were delayed by more than an hour. That's what I'm calling it as our percentage, right? What percentage were delayed by more than an hour? Easy, right? Just put in the condition arrival delay greater than 60. Again, that's going to be true for all the flights which were delayed by more than an hour and false otherwise. So to find out the proportion, just take the mean of that. 